What's up, 3WP Ocean Squad? It's me, Rashad, and today I'm about to talk to y'all about five signs that you can use to determine if you have high porosity hair. Now, I know what some of y'all are thinking. Porosity? What is that, Rashad? Well, let me tell y'all what it is, Ocean Squad. So porosity is basically a term used to describe your hair's ability to absorb and maintain moisture. There are three types of hair porosities. There's low hair porosity, which I have. There's medium hair porosity. And then there's high porosity. As we get into the video, I'm gonna explain to you exactly what these three types of porosities are and how to recognize if you have low porosity like me. Maybe in the future we could do five signs for medium and then five signs for high porosity. But now this is for low porosity. Hit the like button, let's go. And I just wanna say shout out to the OG Waver Country Kane. Cause before he made his first video about hair porosity, I was completely unaware about it. And I really gotta say shout out to Country Kane because he came through to the uh, 3WP meetup and he was just spreading knowledge to all the Ocean Squad members that was out there. And man, it's dope. You gotta respect that. And yeah, y'all, let's get into the video. Boost that like button for me, man. Let's go, y'all, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, let's see, let's see. If I make this, y'all gotta boost that like button, all right? Hold up, hold up, we about to do this, y'all. Right here, let's go. Kobe, hold up, run that back. Run that back, y'all, run that back. If I make this, y'all gotta boost that like button for me, all right? Let's go. Oh, Kobe, that's all Nick. Hold up, double up, double up. Um, if I make this one, y'all gotta boost the like button and y'all gotta leave a comment, all right? If I miss, then um, shoot, then just, just keep watching, all right? Kobe, yeah, boost that like button, y'all. What? Throw me in the game, coach. Coach, it's fourth down. It's the fourth quarter, coach. Throw me in the game. What? All right, bet. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys probably don't know what your specific hair porosity is, so I wanna enlighten you on this float test to determine your hair porosity. All you have to do is take a clean strand of your hair and put it in some room temperature water. If your hair stays at the top, you have a low porosity. If your hair stays in the middle of the water after three minutes, then you have a medium porosity. If it goes all the way to the bottom, you have a high porosity. Shout out to everybody that boosted that like button. Let's get into the video. Let's talk about what hair porosity is. Hair porosity, like I said, is basically a term that describes how well your hair absorbs and retains moisture. Like I said, I got low nice. porosity hair. What this means is that my hair has follicles on it that are tight. And what this further means is that my hair does not easily absorb moisture, okay? One thing you gotta understand about Hair Porosity Ocean Squad is that it's not as simple as it sounds. It's not a fact of either you have low porosity, medium porosity, or high porosity. It's a fact within the fact that you can be within a range, all right? As far as you can have extremely low, or you can kind of have um, low, closer to medium porosity, you know what I'm saying? So that makes it a little bit more difficult to kind of understand, all right? So some of you might fall into the, you know what I'm saying, the edge over here, and some of you might be in the middle, some of you might be, you know what I'm saying? So understand that as we go into the video. So let's talk about medium. Medium is when the cuticles on your hair are not as tightly bound. It's, it's basically a sweet spot because the cuticles are open just enough to let moisture in without letting too much moisture out. So if you have a medium hair porosity, then you're gonna find that your hair is very easy to manage and is just keeping it G like that, G100. All right, next, high porosity is when your hair follicles are not tightly bound. They're kind of open and they allow moisture to come in easily. And they also allow moisture to come out easily. So you gotta learn how to seal that in with certain products. Now we could talk about that in the future Ocean Squad for my high porosity waiver. Show you how to lock that moisture in just in case your hair get dry too often. You know what I'm saying? So now that y'all know the three types of hair porosity, I gotta explain to y'all the five signs of low hair porosity. Before I get into it, I just gotta let you know though, just because you have a coarse hair texture does not mean that your hair is low porosity. Sign number one, numero uno, 
is your hair does not absorb moisture easy. As I explained, when you have a, a low hair porosity, the cuticles aren't open like that. And so moisture products, they don't absorb easily. That's sign number one. I was about to show you a product example that you shouldn't use if you have low porosity hair, but I threw it in the trash, y'all, because I, I was like, I'm never going to use this. It's just taking up space in my cabinet. But if I could just give you a descriptive example, products with a, with a bunch of ingredients, like a ton of ingredients, y'all. If you have a low porosity hair, you might want to avoid those because just because of the sheer fact of so many ingredients being in the product, when you put that on your hair, it's more likely to cause product buildup. After learning this information, I kind of tied that back to in the days when I told y'all how I used to use grease, right? I told y'all I used to use grease. Yeah, I used to go to school in the morning, you know what I'm saying, my hair nice and shiny. But then a few hours later, I noticed what? That my hair has dried out or it looks dried out and dirty after about a couple hours. But yeah, let's move on to this next sign. That leads us to the second sign, and it, it just goes right into it. Product sits on your hair. That's the second sign, all right, y'all? So if you find that you use certain products and you, they don't easily get absorbed into your hair, and next thing you know, you just gotta put product on product, or you just find the fact that it's just like stacking up on your hair, that's the sign, y'all. That could happen if you have a high porosity hair, if you overuse products, you know what I'm saying? But more or less, you're gonna really see that with low porosity hair. Sign number three is if your hair takes too long to dry. It's real simple, that's a straightforward one, y'all. If you wet your hair with water and it just takes a long time to dry, then that's a sign, all right? Um, for example, with me, I do notice that my hair does take a while to dry, but one thing about us as dudes, it's like we don't usually have that much hair, so it's not gonna be as exaggerated, you know what I'm saying? Girls, on the other hand, when they have all that hair, they really notice these effects, all right? So just keep that in mind. You might not be able to notice that as a guy. That's just one sign, though, that I want you to understand. The fourth sign, y'all, we moving through these quick, all right? New video every week, all this month, and catch me in New York this Saturday. Follow me on Instagram and check my Instagram post for the location of the event. But nevertheless, y'all, you could do this test right now. Just get some water, wet your hand, and just go like this, right? Look in the mirror. If you see the water just sitting on top of your hair in like a little ball, like you know how um, a bug's life when the just water drop like a little ball? If the water look like that on your head, then that's a sign that you have low porosity hair. All right, Ocean Squad, we going through it, we going through it. Sign number five is if products build up on your hair and dry out within the same day and your hair kind of looks dirty. Um, and I kind of hinted at that earlier. That's a major sign that you have low porosity hair. That's just a sign that the products are not getting absorbed into your hair, right? Now, please understand that's not necessarily bad that you have low porosity hair. That's just the way your hair is at the moment, bro. All right, so don't think it's a bad thing because your hair don't absorb moisture. Just think of it as Something simple, that's really how I like to think of it. Um, like I said, it's a benefit because once your hair does get that moisture, it's not going to easily get extracted from your hair so you can retain that moisture longer and easier. One thing I could let y'all know is certain products may not mix with your hair porosity very well. For example, coconut oil. Y'all heard me talk about this in my live, all right? And a lot of y'all felt me, y'all was like, bro, Coconut oil, before I ever said something, I was like, y'all, the best oil is for waves. And I had a bunch of oils, right? I had avocado oil, I had almond oil, I had um, some vitamin E oil. Man, and then I brought the coconut oil, just set it in the screen. Y'all was like, whoa, what up, bro? I don't, really, I don't really like coconut oil. The thing with coconut oil and low porosity hair is that this coconut oil, it, it tends to sit on the cuticles and not get absorbed and it dries up right on your hair like when i put coconut oil in my hair i just noticed like a buildup. that's just that's the basic way i could explain it now i was doing some research y'all now i'm not gonna shoot this one in the hoop but i was doing some research 
And I was like, okay, so is coconut oil bad? Cause so many people say it's good, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hold up, it's so good, but when I put it in my hair, it, ain't, it don't do me no justice. It actually make my hair look bad, you know? But what I, what, with my research, I found that you could get benefits from coconut oil if you have a low porosity hair. You just gotta do a little trick to open up your um, follicles to get this absorbed in there. If it don't get absorbed, it's gonna sit on the top and make your hair look dry after a while. But if you do the trick right here, and this is just knowledge all coming together, y'all, because before I did this research, I didn't quite understand why I did certain things on my hair. But now, with this knowledge and this enlightenment, I understand. Let me show you. So y'all know how when I do my morning method or my bounce back method, I always tell y'all, use warm water, right? Use warm water. When you use warm water on your hair, this opens up and relaxes your follicles. And that allows for, um, especially if you have low porosity hair, that allows for um, moisture to get absorbed easier. So, with that being said, understand that. If you got an issue with getting products absorbed into your head, just open up them follicles a little bit by using heat and use your product. Um, and that's what I heard about the coconut oil. I just heard that if you open up them follicles a little bit and then put the coconut oil in, it can absorb it and it won't necessarily do how it does when you try to put coconut oil in just regular, you know what I'm saying? And those are the five signs Ocean Squad. I hope y'all learned something here. If you want me to do high porosity, five signs for high porosity, also five signs for medium porosity, comment down below. Um, one quick bonus tip for low porosity, y'all. If you find that your hair is normally too oily or just too dry on a normal basis with just not doing nothing, then that, that's just a, a sign that you have a low porosity, all right? <clears throat> And that's pretty much it, Ocean Squad. It's a quick little video. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Do I got something to say? Let me think, let me think, let me think. Boost that like button, already said that. I'm about to take one more shot. I'm about to take one more shot, Ocean Squad. If I make this, y'all gotta share this video. All right, one take only this time, all right? Last time it took me a couple takes, but nevertheless, we about to get this. Redo, redo, double up. Double up. I'm about to make this. Until I airball, that's when I stop, when I airball. Hold up, Ocean Squad. I keep taking shots until I airball. All right, I airballed that one.